And I'm going to go Hog Rider because he's going to keep on trying with the squishy stuff. We're going to protect that Musketeer. All right, good log. Good log, healthy baby dragon. That's not going to do enough. Protect the Musketeer. Look at that Hog Rider, guys. I am down two cards. And he's, he's panicking. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. As always, your boy is back into the Clash Royale video. Guys, I got a special one today. Lots and lots of comments. I think overall people are stuck in Arena 12, all right? And I'm going to prove something to you guys about all the defensive strategy, having a proper win condition, but defensive strategy and how you can win and easily, I'm telling you guys, easily climb. I can share decks all day long, but unless you guys understand the fundamentals, you will not progress in this game, okay? So I, I hear sometimes that the deck is trash and this, and the, guys, it's not about the deck. I can share all kinds of decks. If you don't know how to play, manage your elixir, know how to counter push, don't support a dead push. I mean, all of these kinds of things, guys, if you don't understand, you're not gonna get better, okay? I've been playing this game since global launch, all right? And I'm trying to help you guys. So here's how this is going to work. We're gonna jump into the arena with this. Now you see two cards in here I am not allowed to use. So what this does is it puts me at a disadvantage, all right? We will only have six cards total going against obviously eight. Let's just jump into it. I'm going to prove to you guys. Look, and a level 10, and a level 10, all right? We're gonna play smart, defensive. Now with hog rider it's okay to start especially with the starting hand i can i can defend with so many cards right now so he's got cannon so he's playing 2.6 that's another thing too guys you want to probably know is yep there you go and then we're going to go ahead and go in here he's going to run hog rider all right so um this could be a little bit difficult just it's one of my favorite decks guys by the way but we should be able to do some work um here's the problem though we do have to i got to be a little careful with that i think she would get yeah, she still got it. So the baby dragon wasn't the best play. So it's all right. We'll still go here. His whole point is to cycle, and he's going to eventually start spell cycling. So that was a wasted musketeer for him. Uh, I don't think he'll... If he tries to ice spirit, uh, golem, ice golem. So we'll go here with the Valkyrie. And I'm going to counter push. He's already back to his cannon. Okay, we're going to push the Valkyrie into that. He, no, that was a pretty good log. Now, the, the ice golem was a bad play on his part. So we're keeping it close. This is what we want to do. Now he's trying to spell cycle which is what you are supposed to do so i can't use the mirror or the pump all right so we're gonna go in with mini pekka in the back the hard part about this though okay we'll go in here with this that's fine and i'm gonna go baby dragon a little aggressive so use this cannon that's really good for us the the only problem the reason why i do like 2.6 is he can easily get back to hog rider that's the whole point of the deck right so let's go in with a valkyrie here okay we'll be fine she'll be able to clean all that stuff up Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and go in with... Hey, hey, okay, that was not great. It's okay, let's see what he's got. He's fireball, not a good fireball, guys. Okay, not a good fireball. We're going to go in with the Musketeer. I am now up on tower damage, all right? I don't have direct damage spell, which kind of stinks a little bit. So let's go here. We're going to go high baby dragon. And then we're going to try to really support this push. And I'm going to go hog rider because he's going to keep on trying with the squishy stuff. We're going to protect that Musketeer. All right, good log. Good log, healthy baby dragon. That's not gonna do enough. Protect the musketeer. Look at that hog rider, guys. I am down two cards. And he's he's panicking. And I still have a musketeer on the map. And we're gonna protect. Do you understand what I'm saying? Defensive strategies, okay? And 2.6 is not easy to beat. Especially when you're down two cards. And he's a level 10. I almost used the mirror, guys, okay? Look. Okay, it's not going to happen. We're going to go in here with this. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in here with this. I still have an Inferno Tower on the map, right? Man, if I could have run... If I could have run Mirror, it would have been so funny. Okay, we're done. GG's. Let's get that hog hit, guys. Whew. All right, I shouldn't have lasted that long. It doesn't matter, guys. I, I proved my point. You guys even... Hopefully, you learned something there. Anyways, here's what we're going to now do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go in and put the deck uh, back together of what I showed taking me from seven to arena 14. This is the deck, okay? And I'm gonna try to teach it a little bit more. It's about defense. And again, do not support a dead push. Don't support a dead push. So with a starting hand like this, I can defend, I have musketeer, I have zap ready in rotation for my hog rider. I would have pushed opposite lane. So let's go ahead and see if he overcommits. He doesn't, he misses all that. I do miss the inferno tower. Okay, so I'm up right now. He does have a, um, a witch on the map. So we'll go here with this. And then I'm going to go ahead and go here. 
And I'm going to go in with the, um, the bar barrel. And we'll take all that stuff out. And again, right here. So look at my elixir count. He's got a mini peck on the map. I'm going to go musketeer. Okay, so could, could probably went one tile back, but... All right, so he's got a royal ghost. That's that's one of the legendaries I want on this count. So we're gonna have to let this go. The the royal ghost will actually uh, pretty much tear this up here. So we got to take care of the bandit, okay? And she is going to not take out the inferno tower. So the royal ghost will get some work done, okay? He's gonna get two hits, I believe. Nope, just one. Awesome. So he is back to his inferno tower. That's another thing too, guys. Remember your cycle. So he is rushing it. It feels like to me, a hundred percent. So we'll go baby dragon here and we're trying to look where I place, right? We're trying to meet a little bit here. So let's go in with the Valkyrie. Okay. I want the Valkyrie to stay healthy and then I'm going to, I'm not going to, so here's the thing Then normally what would someone do? They probably, they probably would have run hog rider. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I hope I take out the princess. Let's go. This is one of the learning experiences right there. Don't go hog rider. I would have lost a hog rider. That would have been a dead push. I would have been down elixir. So here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go mini peck in the back, sort of like a cycle but it puts pressure on him to drop something. He's gonna go Witch. I'm assuming, no, he's going Mini Peck himself. So let's go in with, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna zap this like right here and I'm gonna go Baby Dragon because we need to clean that up and then we need to be able to get to, okay, so that's perfect for us, right? Guys, look at this. But this is what can cause people matches. He overcommitted, cannot get back to his Inferno Tower in time. Look at the damage, healthy Baby Dragon. But it's those, it's those, it's that type of play, right? Oh, I'm leaking the elixir here. It's that kind of play that wins or loses battles, guys. And that's what I'm saying. So people will get frustrated and they'll say, this deck is trash. It's, it's bad. It's not. But if, if you would have rushed Hog Rider earlier, guess what? You would have lost that push and it could have cost you the game. It could have cost you the game. I, I'm just throwing troops all over the place now. It doesn't even matter. You guys understand what I'm saying? Look, let's just go and let's end it. Okay, we're gonna jump into another one. Same deck. I I don't I think it was nine total losses. That's it. I'm telling you guys, you can do it. You just have to learn the fundamentals of this game. Take it from your boy who has been playing this game since the beginning, since global launch, okay? Let's jump back in. We're gonna get another dub here. Oh, it's a level eight. It it, it doesn't matter, but I'm just gonna try to teach through this one, okay? So with a starting hand like this, you can't really pressure. You can pressure with this as long as he's not playing bait. But if you wait for like five seconds, usually people playing bait will throw something super quick. So he's gonna have to answer this. So he has a wizard. Okay, so I know he has a wizard. I'm gonna go in with the musketeer now. Now, if he puts something in front of this, what I'm going to do is take care of the wizard first. Actually, I'm gonna do that now. That's another thing too. It's usually the supporting troops that are more damaging then that's a all right um i love the e-wizard oh man i should say oh i got a shot off let's go guys it's the supporting troops guys that usually do the most damage so there's a hog rider so let's go ahead actually you know what i didn't even think about this that's going to do a lot of work for him we'll be able to take care of it i wouldn't even think an e-wizard to reset the inferno tower but we still shut it down look at this counter push the baby dragon will be healthy enough and if he tries to defend which he did i am up almost five elixir at the moment he does have a, you know a half health wizard but he's not gonna be able to support anything right so let's go here with this and then i'm gonna go hog rider okay so he's got more elixir than i do but this is a time when you can go hog rider because i'll be able to defend he's gonna have to try to defend this okay i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this guys and we clean all that up he, yeah perfect look at this just now now patience patience do not rush you can almost even take this damage you can almost even take it right but i'm not going to so we're going to go here. Now his E-Wizard is out of cycle. He cannot, you know, reset my Inferno Tower. We got a Valkyrie just marching over there to her death. I mean, I'm just joking. Okay, here we go. So what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and go in. I'm going to pressure the other, the other lane. Let's just see what happens here. I'm going to go Baby Dragon. It appears a tap out. I think my man tapped out here. It looks like it. I'm going to go. I'm going to pocket the Musketeer. And it does look like it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end this battle. Guys, I don't know how else to emphasize this, especially if you're new to this game. Uh, let's go ahead and get a Valkyrie down to I'm trying to end this quick. It, especially if you're new to this game, you just have a lot to learn. Okay, and remember, this game has been around a long time. 
I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm always going to keep this account in this arena as well. I can, unfortunately, I can't drop to like Rascal's Hideout or Spooky Town. It doesn't allow you to. Uh, so I just want to keep this here. I feel like it's more apples out. But guys, look at all these chests. I mean, I'm telling you. You just got to play patient and stuff. Okay, I've, I've seen people put hog riders in the back. And guys, you just you got to learn how to play the game. Anyways, hopefully this you know, is helpful. All right. Continue to drop comments. All right. You know, I love helping and stuff like that. Um, you know, and I'm going to continue to share decks guys, but just focus on the fundamentals. All right. Anyways, I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe until the next video guys and live stream, which I hope to do maybe even today, guys, definitely this weekend, everyone take care and peace out.